pricing has a big piece in that as well, mm -hmm. right? Is mm -hmm. putting the right price in front of your, your selling team at the right moment based on, when I think about it, I think about what's happening in the market, mm -hmm. your competitive pressures. I also think about things like indexes, mm -hmm. right? That have an impact on your pricing, you know, pure raw material costs, mm -hmm. right? So all those things come into play. And for, for a lot of the clients that we're, we're spending time with, we're also trying to optimize that selling, but what, where, that, where that number is, mm -hmm. where can I sell this at? Mm -hmm. So giving them a floor and a ceiling and then a target price, I, I think has been really helpful in them driving more revenue for their business and higher margins. Right, and that introduces a term that we use, you know, widely throughout industries, revenue predictability. Yeah. And revenue predictability can mean a couple of different things. You know, obviously it's in how confident are you in your products being able to be fulfilled, perhaps if they've already been contracted for, or how confident are you in the opportunity pipeline closing. Outside of manufacturing, we're seeing a widespread adoption of recurring revenue models. So, you know, you'll traditionally hear subscription-based yep. models, right? Very much in our TMT business, right? Yes, you see it in TMT. We're also seeing it quite frequently in oil and gas. And if you think about your utility bill, for example, mm -hmm. you're you're talking about kilowatt hours, right? And maybe at 6 a.m. you pay a different price than you pay at 6 p.m. to run your dryer. Sure. Uh, that is a concept of consumption, consumption-based billing. And so when we think of recurring revenue and we think of recurring models, oftentimes there's a component of consumption involved as well. Sure. So perhaps some sort of negligible recurring element of either a license or perhaps even in manufacturing, I could see a lease or rental type of agreement. Yeah. But then if, if that's not a model that's easy for your organization to pivot to, there's then that concept of consumption. And we see that impacting organizations as well and adding that revenue predictability. Sure, and, and I know we've talked about this in the past, right? Some of that when there's the rental and leasing is mm -hmm. turning those things in early traditionally will break your back yes. end systems, right? Your ERP systems, because they're Traditionally, I've got a price mm -hmm. over a period of time. Mm -hmm. But when you start making edits to that, right? Exactly. Or making those changes, that causes some unpredictability in your back end. Exactly. And, you know, organizations will say, well, I can sell a one year term, or I can sell a one year lease, or I can sell, you know, XYZ, a term type of contract, but then just bill for it monthly. How is that different than recurring billing? Right. It is and it isn't. Traditional ERPs can absolutely do that very easily. They can say every every first of the month, bill this guy $1,000, done. It's very easy and and from an operations perspective, from a back office operations perspective, it's not difficult. When you start talking about leases, let's say you want to upgrade that machinery or you want to swap out that machinery for a different model or whatever the scenario is, you need to make a change to what you had originally committed to. And perhaps that change is going to bring in more revenue to the organization. So you can't tell your customer, no, you're in a contract. You wanna make it easy to do business with you, right? But that's where your traditional ERP can't necessarily handle that midterm amendment. It thinks of it as the completion of a revenue contract and then the recreation of a revenue contract, when in reality, it's a, a revenue contract modification. It's one with, with breaks. E yeah. Exactly, okay. exactly. So, But that small little change can impact revenue, waterfall, and it might not be out of the box for what a traditional price it, sell it, ship it type of organizational structure is in place for. But that's where the technologies in the marketplace today are able to support.